All righty, good morning. <clears throat> Today, we are going to be turning this sucker around and doing some distributive property backwards. All right, so now they want us to take, we can make this 66 plus 55 look like this. And it's 11 plus, 11 times, I'm sorry, six plus five. So the sum of six and five times 11. So here's how. You have to find the least common factor. So if we want to do 24 plus 56, actually I'm gonna be honest with you, any factor would work. It's just better if you use the greatest common factor. So Mr. Krause already set this one up for us and he does not big on factor trees like I am. So he did it this way where he lined up the all the multiples of 24 and then all the multiples of 56 and he noticed that over here we have an eight in common. Now, if you set it up the other way, you would have made that factor tree, and I wish I had some room for it, but I don't, and you would have been able to line up all your numbers and circle the pairs, and then you would have had two times four, which is eight. So if you're using the factor tree way, please keep doing it. We'll do it for the next one, okay? All right, so eight is the greatest common factor between 24 and 56. So eight is gonna go on the outside of that bracketed area. See, so here's your brackets. So eight is gonna go on the outside. Then we just go, well, eight times what is 24? Well, three. So three goes in the inside. Plus eight times what is 56? And it's seven. So we choose seven. And that is how you break it down. Now, I know it seems really complicated, so I'm gonna move up and we're gonna do another one together. If you like writing your factors this way and this works for you, by all means do it, okay? For the next example, I wanna show you a factor tree because I think that might help you just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna move up here so I got plenty of room. One second to get adjusted here. All right, we have 16 and 20. I know that right now I have a two in common with 16 and 20 and a four, but I want to show you that factor tree again because we worked so hard on those. 16, if we break it down, it would be, we could do four times four, two times eight, lots of different choices. I'm going to do four times four. I'm going to break it down again and I have two times two and two times two. And since they're already at the bottom, I don't even need to draw arrows down. They're all across, they're all prime. I'm done with that one. 20, I have five times four. Five is prime, he can go to the bottom. Four can break down into two times two. They're all prime, I'm all done. All right, if you need to make sure you pause so you can take this tree down. All right, now I'm just gonna line them up. I got 16, one, two, three, four twos. One, two, three, four twos. I've got 20, I've got two twos, I can line those up. And I've got a five, and that five doesn't have a partner, he's gotta go over here all by himself. All right, now I'm just looking for pairs. So how many pairs do I have in that? How many pairs do you find in 16? I should have written that 20, my apologies. In 16 and 20, how many pairs do you have? Well, you can see I've got a pair of twos and I got another pair of twos. And what do we do with greatest common factor? Multiply the pairs. Two times two is four. So my greatest common factor for 16 and 20 is going to be four. All right, so I got my greatest common factor. Guess what, he goes on the outside. He gets the number one A1 spot on the outside of my brackets. He's all by himself because he is the best. All right, now all I gotta do is think to myself, what times four would give me 16? Four times what is 16? Four. So four gets the spot on the inside. 
4 times what is 20? 5. 5 is this spot. And that's it. Because if you think about it, now if you do your arrows to double check, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20. It all adds out. It checks out. It is correct. Okay? It's taking the numbers and breaking them down backwards. All right? Now, again, you don't have to use the greatest common factor, but it does help. It makes it an easier problem. That's why they tell you to find the greatest common factor. All right? For me, honestly, if you distribute whatever way works for you, I'm fine with it. All right. If you need to pause, do it right now because I'm going to erase so we can move down and try the next one. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Get rid of this. So we can move down. Bring this down. Yep. All right. The next one we have is 50 minus 30. All right, right away, I'm going to draw this out, a blank minus a blank. Why did I put that minus here instead of a plus? Because right here is a subtraction sign, and that's got to carry over. All right, let's break down 50 and 30. 50, 30. Oh, mercy, what can we do here? We can do 2 times 25. Or 5 times 10, either one of those would have worked. And 25 can break down into what? 5 times 5. Let's do that. And those are prime, so we're done there. 30. I think you guys would think either 5 times 6 or 3 times 10. I'll take 3 times 10. Do it whatever way you want to, as long as you get broken down. 3 is done because he's prime. He doesn't need anyone else. 1 times 3 is prime. And I have 10, which is 5 times 2, and those numbers are prime. All right, all we got left, add them up. Well, I'm sorry, line them up. We don't add up anything. We line them up. All right, we got 50. I've got a 2, a 5, a 5. Just taking these numbers, transferring it right there. I've got 30, I've got a three, which has to be over here because it has no partner, a five and a two. Notice I cross those off because I don't want to forget one of them and leave one of them out. All right, let's shoot for the pairs. Where do we have a pairs? Pairs, pairs everywhere. It's almost a rhyme. Pairs of twos, pairs of fives. Take one of each, two times five and we get 10. 10 is the magic number. 10 gets my outside position. Now all I have to do is think about 10 times what is 50? 5. 10 times what is 30? 3. And if you go and did this backwards, you would have arrow over 10 times 5, 50. 10 times 3, 30. So your answer would be correct. All right? So if you did it that way, 50 minus 30, you would get 20. All right? Take a moment to pause right now if you need to to take down these notes. Remember, those notes you can use on your test. Okay? So make your common factor. That gets a spot on the outside. And... Then you just got to figure out how you multiply to get the other number. All right. I know I was only able to go over two examples with you. I want you to try the rest on your own. If you're still struggling, then you let me know. And all I want to see before you ask for help, I want to at least see that factor tree. So set up those factors, line them up, and look for the pair. Once you get that far, if you're still stuck, please let me or any teacher that you have let them know, and they can help you finish that problem out. You make it a great day.